Yeah. All right, ready? We're videoing. Hey, happy anniversary. Thank you. Welcome happy to, anniversary to you too. Welcome to the anniversary podcast. Okay. I have 20 questions for 20 years of marriage. We were married on June, June 12th, 12th 2004. 2004. Yeah, in Mobile. And uh, it was awesome. So, 20 I'm questions. Sure. You can ask them back. I'm trying to cheat. Yeah, don't look. I don't know what the question is. All right, what was, your, what was your favorite thing about... I love you, by the way. Thank you for doing this. I know you hate being on camera. Favorite thing about our wedding? Oh, golly, that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I have one. When, after the wedding was all over and the reception and everything, and we got in the limo, leaving... Or, sorry, leaving for the, our honeymoon... It was, it was, everything was a hustle and bustle and loud. And then all of a sudden it was just dead silent when we shut the door of the car and we were just looking at each other like, well, mm. hey, we're married. I would agree. That's my that favorite moment too. I was scared of you. It's like your, your best friend, <laughs> but the, but it, but the door closed and when, and it was like, oh my God, I'm nervous yeah. around you. So it's like, how do we do, how do we do the first night thing? That was awesome. Uh, advice to young married couples. Say somebody like, let's get married today. And you're like, hey, I'm going to give you some, just give you a, a little token, something memorable, easy, I don't know. Okay. Um, I would say uh, be willing to say I'm sorry a lot, which, you know, really? is my whole... <laughs> no, that's that not my be? forte, guys. I will admit <laughs> it. Not my forte. Um, and then, and be willing to forgive a lot. Yeah. A lot of mercy. I yeah. would agree. What about, who's your favorite kid? Besides uh, me. That's not even a fair question. Do you have a favorite kid some days? No, for sure not. I mean, there everyone goes in and out of easy or difficult seasons. Let me ask you I this, a that's... tough question. Do you ever have thoughts about your kids where you're like, I'm ashamed that I feel this way. Lord, help me of course. not feel this way about my of kids. Of course. That's just relationships that are close. I, I just think, think that's, that's part of That's awesome life. for you to admit. Um, I think people need to hear that. I do. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I just think uh, if you do life that closely with anyone, there's going to be seasons where you're just kind of at each other's throats. And I'm always grateful when you say, this kid's getting on my nerves. Because <laughs> I'm like, me too. But I love them, you know? Yeah. All right, can we get I another? Mean, that's like you oh, and me. Gosh. Sorry, I didn't interrupt. It is. So it is. I, it's just, you know, it doesn't last forever, even the bad seasons. Yes. All right, next question, number four. Uh, can we get another dog? Not right now. I'm sorry. That was a good question, though. All right. Because I'll... who takes care of the dogs? You do. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of our dogs. <laughs> All right. Tough question to hear the answer to, but I need an honest answer. Who's like your hall pass? Like, if you showed up naked today, you'd oh, be like, that's a weird question. Walker, step I don't... outside. I, nothing. Girls are different than Not boys. one. I don't know. Not one, I just... dude. Who, who you got? Who's kind of, you like, is ah. cute? I mean. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm just afraid you're going to say the opposite of me. Like somebody, somebody that wears super a suit mysterious. and has a, yeah. a nine to fiver. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good answer. Hey, what's your, we haven't talked hey, about this. Hey, this is why we've been married 20 years. Why? Because I don't have a halt. <laughs> yeah, you don't. <laughs> just kidding. Hey, what is, uh, what is your, we haven't talked about it in a while. What's your favorite color? Purple. Still Easy. purple. I, I wrote Always. purple. I just. Not we, lavender. We just like, haven't. Deep. I can't find it anywhere. Yeah. Like a royal purple, like. Just in case you want to know, I think mine's green right now. Right now? Mine changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's green and blue. Changes, goes back yeah. Hey, least favorite. All right, this is a tough one. Least favorite thing about yourself. Like biggest insecurity. And I mean, spill it. Um, uh, I mean, I don't know. I'm female. I guess I could probably come up with a bunch of them. But, um. I would, I guess I would say, uh, like all the veins that have been left in my legs from birthing children, but honestly, I'm kind of like, they're the, they're the signs of life too. So I hate it, but I can, I can appreciate why I have them, I guess. Man, I have no idea why, but that was just, this, I, that made me feel special that you just said, I don't know. That was really, I think. Do you want to share yours? I mean, physically. I don't know. I just think it was very brave of you just to be like, ah, this about my body. You know, I don't know. I think I yeah. think everybody has little things where you look in the mirror, mirror, and you're like, oh shoot. Um, you know, I have a crooked nose. 
I mean, I see it every day, and I'm, but I'm kind of like, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm, it's kind of humorous to me now, um, but physically, you'd look too perfect otherwise. You know, I think, I think my biggest, uh, you know, my, my biggest insecurity is probably just normal, just waking up and feeling like all of a sudden the whole world's gonna be like you're a phony, you're not talented, you're not this, you're not that, you know, you, because deep down we all know we're we're really just trying to control the narrative, look a certain way and sell ourselves, you know, to the world. I'd I'd love to be free, you know, from that insecurity. But um yeah, I don't know. I that's that was, but I just I don't know, I liked your answer and I'm sure a lot of people can identify with that. All right. Least favorite thing about me, most annoying thing where you just and just put it out there. Just be like it won't hurt my feelings, I promise. I mean just, I'm sure whatever it is you've heard it before. Uh Oh, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't have like a, I'm trying to think. Maybe like your corner over there. <laughs> well, that's easy. I, I get it. I got it's a messy. It's just the corner of the counter where everything in life accumulates. It but, is annoying. I mean, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's just, it's, that one's not usually a battle worth fighting. My least favorite thing about you, and this is this deep, but like it was, was when you laugh, you were like, I mean, I feel like I'm always the first sorry person. Yeah, that is true. And, um... Sorry. I'm like, there you go. You said it. Thank you. Yeah. He Lenny, is always the first you, to apologize. You, 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 you're a lot different, though, than you were when we were 17. I mean, we both never said sorry. And now... Praise now the I'm Lord. really good at it. Uh, and, um... But, yeah. And that's, I'm mediocre. That's my least favorite. And you always, man, every single night... You come in and you turn the brightness of my phone down. You turn my <laughs> ringer off and you take the covers and move them after they're already in in place. So that's yeah. I have a few things that that um, I keep going. I don't like yeah the long <laughs> list. All right, favorite song doesn't have to be mine. Just hands down. Um, well I don't really ever get to pick my own music. So uh, usually I just listen to whatever the kids are listening to. Which right. actually I like their music. So, um. It definitely doesn't. Well, I'm not going to name one of yours yeah. just because that's, I don't know. You don't know. That's, You've never heard of them before. <laughs> I'm going to, I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go with uh, something from Shucked. Ah, okay. Anything from Shucked. I, I like yeah, that answer. I love that. Well, that. I guess you've heard. I don't even know if that's the right words, but yeah. I'm going to go with uh, Alan Jackson, Remember When. Get a little sentimental Ooh, here. Yeah. Um, sentimental. Any regrets in life? Like, do you have any, anything, I mean, obviously... It's our anniversary. We're super happy today. You know, we're not always happy. Um, what What is like one, just one thing you look back, I don't know, maybe you picked on a kid. Maybe you said something to your mom. Maybe you said something to your sister. You, I don't know, just, just, just anything that you look back and you go, yeah, offhand, I would do that differently. Um, I mean, I hate to go like super, super deep or anything on this fun little podcast with you, but, um, Get deep. my, my biggest regret, and I, I'll, I'll start by saying, I know the Lord is over all of it and, um, it's all in his control, but I would, I would change the story of losing ugly. Mm. I mean, I would, I would make different choices and decisions, um, regarding that. Yeah. Me too. You're not alone in that. And and yeah, that was it's just so, it's hard to not look Wish you back. Could go back in yeah, time and it's hard things. not to look back and go, we made mistakes. There, yeah. we just we just did, and that's that sucks. But at least we get to do it together, and we didn't do it together that well right off the bat. I was super mad, and Lenny was super sad, and I, we were both probably selfish in many ways, especially me. And so yeah, man, didn't mean to get that deep, but hey, that's why marriage is beautiful because it's pretty deep and pretty freaking hard and then it's pretty awesome also okay uh just moving on because i'm un uncomfortable in the sadness here we go favorite restaurant favorite restaurant i'm gonna have to go with miso Ooh. and franklin yeah. we tie again miso and franklin best sushi ever best date we've ever been on um well, I mean, obviously, our first date probably comes to mind the easiest. Um, yeah. It's the one we talk about the most, I guess. The uh, Monster Truck Show. Pretty, yes. Pretty awesome. But so, honestly, so going out of town with you to Charlotte just a couple weeks ago or a few weeks ago was pretty awesome also. And we did absolutely nothing. And it was 
amazing. I agree. We love to do nothing. Do you remember uh, when we went to Homa? Yes, uh, I do. Near it's kind Tipido, of the same, <laughs> Louisiana. Same vibe. Yeah. Just honestly, just time. Our life is so crazy. Just any time away together is really fun. Chick Fil A right. dates. Those Ch are oh, those awesome. are the best. We do a lot of Chick Fil A dates. We sit underneath this this picture of this old couple that are on the wall. Like they're hold, One's got a nugget. Like, yeah. Yeah, and we're like, let's be that them when we get old. Uh, and then also. Not to get dirty, but I'm a I'm a location guy when it comes to the wow. special moments, and we've had we've we've had let's, some fun. Let's move along. Okay, <laughs> locations. Okay, biggest. <laughs> oh I can think of some fun places. Biggest fight we've ever been in. Um. Worst. Just drop down one one that you that you remember. You're like ah. You can come okay. Down. Hey, you. Uh, the the one that that I. Okay, guys, we were uh, extremely volatile in our early years, and I remember I know what you're one, say. and it started with an uh, intramural basketball game, Ooh. and uh, it... You it, said it was just a game. I'll never forget. Walker was getting really heated in an intramural basketball game. Saying some things. Again, he was I in his never... 20s, so yeah. yeah, but he was saying a lot of stuff, and I was like, I think you're overreacting, and I said, golly, it's just a game, and that was... I learned very quickly. Don't ever say that. <laughs> Nothing is just a game. Yeah, it was. I feel like I've progressed. Yeah, oh, for since sure. Then. But yeah, I definitely. I know I kicked a shoe <laughs> in the house off my foot, just slung it off into a thing. I think we. I think a grapefruit was thrown. Um, a marker. Yeah. A purple marker was thrown. I do I, not recommend any of this. I think the size we had a little of that too much fight. Energy in a... I think we've had harder arguments. I just think with our youth and our our emotions at that age, it was loud. It just yeah, it's it just something got... small. And then I think when we looked back and we're like, "What are we <laughs> fighting about?" We we're like, "This is dumb." Okay, question number fourteen: <clears throat> hardest kid moment besides Oakley. Um, just and I don't want to like disclose something no, one of our kids went through, kids but maybe good. like what's. Like, what's I an say, age or a um, season? I would say the middle school years with girls is probably the toughest. Ooh. Just the, um, yes. you know, you just. <laughs> Here it comes, you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the, uh, I don't know, remaining patient and distributing a lot of grace both ways. It's it's tough to not. Walker said when Lila was 13, she went, Lane, you can't. I mean, he said, Lane, you can't be 13 with her. And that's the temptation to just want to like. I don't know, argue with them or whatever and not be the adult. I agree. That's a tough, That's a tough season. It's a tough age and their emotions. I mean, you never know what you're going to get on a daily basis. One minute they're daddy's girls and then the next you're like, what I do? You know, you yeah, just got to knock on sure. the door till your knuckles bleed. Hey, what is, uh, we, I think that people want to know, like, I think they see, they see taste of dance? these skills. Can I dance? Can I, can I actually see the, dance? I can see the question on that one. Um, yes, he really can. He's a great dancer. I'm gonna answer that and say, yeah, I can. <laughs> um, on on the next question, can you dance? I mean, this is just not my thing. I I'm not sure what my thing is, but that's just I don't think that's one of them. Lenny is sandbagging. She actually can dance. No. I'm not sure she likes to dance, and I don't think she likes drawing attention to herself on the dance this floor. Is a as funny, I fun have fact. a gift for. What's this? Um. Some of Walker's previous girlfriends, obviously this was a long time ago. Oh, wow. I know what, I know what you're about to say. If he saw them dancing and he thought they looked weird, it was a deal breaker. This and wasn't I think a, that's really funny. <laughs> this wasn't like a... a, a Serious. This happened once. There, there was one... There was someone I dated, and I guess you call it the X. You know, there was someone I dated, and I saw her do the hokey pokey at a roller skating <laughs> rink. And I just was like... I don't know. It's just, it's a lot of effort and it just doesn't come seem natural. And I was like, I don't want to, I don't know something about it, but there were obviously more things. It, it wasn't like she just messed the hokey pokey up and I said, <laughs> let's call it quits. But you know what I mean? Everybody understands the icks. Um, what would you do if you weren't, if you didn't have to be a mom, if you weren't a mom? And I know you'd be sad and I know you, I know you wanted to, you know, you want to have kids. What, what would you, would you be a singer, a dancer? No, definitely. I wouldn't do anything in the creative creative realm. Um, I really, I, I have no idea. 
I, it's been, you know, 18 <laughs> years since I've done anything You're so other gifted than be a mom. Other, at other things. Like. I mean, <laughs> you're, you're creative. You're I'm super smart. You you have a business degree, don't you? In some in like yeah. finance finance. I mean, you know what? Building a house right now. I I right now on top of just day to day life, it's a lot. But I do think it's super enjoyable. Like I don't mind managing details and um, doing that kind of thing. But uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what I would do with that. Honestly, I think I would be a professional volunteer. I love that. It's super kind. I think it'd be fun to just like um I feel like all your answers are like if you were in a job interview I would hire you. <laughs> if you care too much, you try too I too try hard. too hard yeah. and I you know What is the no, um not that. I like that. <clears throat> what is the uh oh this is a serious question. You can tell me. I I I'm I'm a little timid. Are you afraid of empty nest life? Like do you ever cuz I mean you, we're we're busy and you right. and I go on, we go on dates, and there's a lot of times where we don't go on dates, and then we're we're like, dang, man, we need to hang. And we do the probably cliche thing where we hang, and we're like, oh, I forgot. I like it's you. Fun. Like, you're fun. Are you, are you, do you think we're going to be okay to survive? I mean, that's a big that's change. That's a big change, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not a, I don't guess I'm afraid of it, because I actually still like time with you. <laughs> Well, after all these years, it's easy to say today. On I mean, yeah, you, there might be, I don't know, maybe it'll be too much time and I'll be like, Hey, can you go work? Some, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if I see, it's hard to imagine emptiness because of a nine year age gap. I feel like, you know, there's always going to be kind of somebody drifting in and out, maybe kids or grandkids or whatnot, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, if it's just dead silent, I don't know what to do when it's dead silent. Yeah, I'm I'm here. I'm always like I'm always I'll a be... little bit I'm always a little bit fearful about, you know, pebbles and the ripples because oh, for sure. it, I don't know, it's crazy in a marriage how you kinda get on cruise control and then just one thing changes. Like one kid gets on a new team and you gotta go a new new direction or or your job shifts a little and you're out of town a little more and it just makes yeah, it's just like, dang, we got to brace ourselves. It's like a storm, you know? And so I can't imagine when when you have a life as loud and chaotic as ours, and then all of a sudden it's just quiet in yeah. here. And, you know, we're we're sitting on speakerphone like old people do, talking to each kid. I, I hope we'll be okay. And I, I think, you know, obviously I want us to be, but, yeah, I'm like, I mean, I, yeah, change. I know I agree with you. I think that's a um, that's a scary change for a couple and family and creates lots of ripples. What's one word to describe married? I was My final for question? question. No, this is 19. Uh, um, uh, roller coaster. That's two words, but is that word? I don't know. Is that one word or two? I'll say roller and you can say coaster. <laughs> I agree. It's, it's just, especially ours. All the, like, yeah. I, I feel mean, like we've seen the bookends of life together just the greatest and the and the worst and yeah by the grace of god here we are looking at the goo <laughs> uh and last one so gotta get gotta get hallmark and sentimental but i really want to know uh i ask you this all the time and do, do you know how much i love you yeah you sure i'm positive are you just saying that because we're on camera no, I, mean, I have to say, as far as husbands go, he has to. Don't you don't need to praise me here. I just want to. I want to make sure. I do know. You know that I love you. Well, if y'all haven't guessed, Walker is a super communicator. So um, that's a good. I would that's say one that's thing. Your, that's your gift for sure. That's one thing we didn't really talk about in these twenty questions. Thanks for watching. We're we're having a happy anniversary so far. I'll probably find a way to screw it up. I'm not really good with holidays, but communication is def has definitely been key for us we may and that's weren't. not my forte either it honestly i don't wasn't say i'm mine. sorry and i don't communicate she doesn't say so <laughs> you poor thing but but communication <clears throat> has been one of the best gifts for having kids uh i sit in the car with my kids and i swear there's some times where i'm like this question's weird and I'm scared to ask it, but I just ask it. And the same, you know, same with Lenny, you know, it's, it's, um, uh, it's just been great. 
Gotta Communication has been great. Yeah, over talking about everything. We'll see. Maybe later in life, it will have messed it up. But I love you so much. I love and you. a happy anniversary to us. And bye.